Welcome to Mama Cat's Home. Today I'm going to be sharing how I dehydrate mushrooms. I got these from Sam's. There's about 48 ounces I believe is what it was. The first thing I do is I wash them really good. Um, I know a lot of people say you don't wash your mushrooms because they absorb and all these different things. But I'm sorry I'm not eating dirt so I'm going to wash them. So yeah, that's what's going to happen now. Pretty much all I'm doing is running the water over them. I use cold water and just kind of rubbing them with my fingers. I'm not doing anything with brushes or anything specific other than that and I get as much dirt off as I can but I don't like scrub them. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is just cut them up. I was talking to Jeff about how he thought I should do them because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do them in half or less. And I was thinking if we did it in half, they would be bigger, of course. But if I did them smaller, they would take a lot less time while dehydrating. So some of them I cut in quarters and then I cut the stem in half. The rest of them I just cut into thirds six of them anyway six pieces not thirds that's not correct but anyway I'm not here for math I'm here for showing you how to do the mushrooms anyway I just cut them up and you'll see them when I'm done I was showing you that I cut them about a finger width but it didn't work out so great but you could maybe see I hope I ended up with four trays I have a nine tray Excalibur dehydrator so I ended up with four and I just even them up between I don't even know that's not even the proper words but anyway I put them evenly inside and I turned it on about 130 I know it's kind of dark you may not be able to see it very well but that's what I did and um, I can't remember exactly how long they went because I was doing a lot of other things this is probably about three-fourths of the way in maybe a little more and what I'm doing here is showing you all four of the trays that were ex actually packed they were jam full of mushrooms and now they're not so what i did is i took all of the mushrooms and put them on one tray and i put them back in for a, probably another couple of hours to make sure they were completely dry Okay, so this is after they are done and I'm getting them out of the dehydrator. I always let them sit and cool. For anything that I dehydrate, I let it cool before I ever put it away because I don't want there to be any 
reason why anything should mess up i know that they are dehydrated they're not supposed to have moisture but i just always would rather be safe than sorry especially with something that i want to store and the amount that i ended up getting is one quart jar a mason jar and one pint mason jar i think it was a pint it's half quart that's what it is Anyways, I don't even know anymore because it's late at night, but you'll see how much I got in just a minute. The large jar, I just um, took the, that one and I vacuum sealed it, and I'm going to show you that in a moment too. This is the first jar. Okay, this is where I'm going to be vacuum sealing it, and I'm showing you the attachment on my vacuum sealer and the little um, wide mouth attachment for that. I have the wide mouth food saver attachment and the regular mouth one, and all I have on this jar is the simple little, um, just the metal lid. I can't think of what they're actually called, and I'm just making sure that my machine is on and pushing accessory and I didn't want you to have to hear all this so I took all that out okay that's it and this is how I always test see it vacuum sealed I try to pick it up by the lid and as you can see it worked quite well I'm not very good with holding two things at once I guess but it is sealed and I just store these in my pantry until I'm ready to use them. I did not vacuum seal the small one because I'm going to be using it first soon because I'm gonna try some cream of mushroom soup and I'll need mushrooms for that and I want to use dried ones just to see how it all works out. So that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this and if you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload also, leave me a comment down below. Have you ever dehydrated anything? Do you have any tips, tricks, or anything you'd like for me to dehydrate and share with you? And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.